and talented. Yeah, I mean, it, just like any other talented player, they're going to get their stuff into the game. But I thought we did a good job of being physical with them. We put them in a crowd. We turned them over a couple times. Uh, I thought that we made the game difficult. He didn't really operate in free space a ton. Uh, and that was key because they were really trying to pump the ball to him and play through him. So uh, just like any other player where teams do that, we want to do it with five, and I thought we did a nice job of that. Yeah, and we talked a bunch about some of the matchups Dub has had to deal with. I know tonight you know, he's he's getting some of Wimby, Lou's getting some of Wimby, and then Chet's like along the backside. But, but with Dub's assignment and how he has to dig into Wimby, I just wonder what you've seen in terms of the, the vast range of assignments he's had to take on. Yeah, I mean, that's the, the thing I always drive to. Uh, on him that's so impressive is just defensively his versatility uh, his mentality going against uh, the range of players and the quality of players that he goes against uh, as well as Lou I mean Lou's taking the the, the main guy uh, every night on the perimeter so those two guys just lean into really really hard matchups night after night uh, and in a month like this where you know the schedule is like a machine gun uh, it's you know really impressive that they drum it up every single night yeah. And, and tonight was the, the team's 26th game, I believe, shooting above 50% from the floor, which is, it leads to NBA. I just, what is it about this group? What is it about what you've seen so far that, that makes that become normal to this point? Uh, I think it's just a, a willingness to stay inside the team. Um, and when we're not inside the team on a possession or a stretch or even a game, we, we jump back into the team pretty quickly. And uh, we really didn't have great offensive rhythm in the last two games for a myriad of factors. But I thought tonight we really tapped into it and leaned on one another and solved problems together. It's the type of team we want to be. And I think the, the guys naturally gravitate to that even when we're a little off track. Um, Aaron had 13 last night, comes in, obviously has 22 tonight. Uh, offensively, wh what did you see in terms of his floor game and the way he was able to get his looks tonight? Yeah, it's just impressive, you know, how he's learned to leverage the system to his benefit and to his strengths because we're not running plays for him. You know, he's, uh, and I say that respectfully, you know, he just has really learned how to space, how to cut, how to move, uh, how to screen, how to roll. I mean, he's just a as good of a system player as we have. And, um, you know, now he's, he's getting some cracks. I like that he's shooting more threes. I mean, somebody that shoots the, the ball as well as he does uh, to drive up his efficiency and our efficiency, he should be taking those. Uh, and he took them tonight. He found good ones, and uh, the guys did a good job of finding him. And just second night of a back-to-back, -back, and you guys come out of the gates really strong at a 30-point first quarter, and then you finish with a 40-point fourth quarter. Just with, with that sort of effort, and do you like the identity that you guys are building as a group when you're faced with these sort of challenges and adversities? Second night of a back-to-back, -back, long stretch, stretch in January, how you guys are responding so far? Yeah, I mean, every game's a new challenge, and you got to, you know, get yourself back to the bottom of the mountain, you know, again in New Orleans for us in the next game. But... Great job answering the bell tonight by the team. You know, just great mental toughness, great discipline, great togetherness, and we're able to sustain that. I thought we had great endurance tonight. We sustained that throughout uh, the 48. I thought the bench was engaged from the start, and it started with Jay Will with a pair of threes there in the first half. Much needed. Yeah, I thought, you know, that group, uh, you know, whatever the, the score was, the last, like, four or five minutes of the first quarter, last four or five minutes of the third quarter, that group was Shea, Jay Will, uh, Casey Wallace, K. Rich, I. Joe, you know, was was potent tonight. Um, those guys really came in, elevated the game. That's what good benches do, you know, as they cut into leads and they extend leads tonight. That team extended the lead uh, in both of those stretches, and I thought the group to start the second and fourth did the same. And so we were a 48-minute team tonight.